Hello, my friends. This is the video that I made on natural gas uh, futures on ticker symbol BOIL, basically, uh, on February the 2nd, five days ago, when the price of this asset was uh, at uh, $21.37. And uh, my main assumption was that we have to have uh, this kind of movement. We have uh, to potentially retest the upper range of resistance and the lower range of support. And then we might have a breakout to the upside because uh, my main assumption was that we have some kind of uh, falling bullish wedge. And here is the actual price action of uh, this asset. As you can see, we have uh, basically we have this type of movement but it broke uh, the range of resistance uh, it already broke the range of resistance and uh, i have to admit that it broke it without uh, support of volume that is why i don't think that uh, this uh, range of support uh, is uh, relevant right now and that is why i think uh, we have only one range that uh, is supporting this price section and it is this sloping line on top of that, guys, uh, if you take a look on nat natural gas spot prices, my main assumption was that we have to complete uh, the last leg of the wave from uh, this top, from $3.42. Uh, and this price was established uh, on January the 12th. And uh, here you can see that we are near in the range uh, where we might land. And uh, my main assumption was that we should land somewhere at uh, $2 mark. On top of that, if you take a look on natural gas uh, futures, you can see that uh, we also have quite similar price action. And uh, here, the range of support is also around $2 mark. And we are basically at this range already. That is why we might have uh, a trend reversal in upcoming week. And guys, this uh, is another evidence how powerful technical analysis is. And if you want to enhance your trading skills, uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account where for the $35 a month, you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, guys, uh, for the first 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on uh, your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, because of uh, the beginning of my journey with Patreon, there is not so many people inside the community. That is why I will do a technical analysis uh, two or three times a week. Uh, and uh, as long as there is not so many people uh, in the Discord group, you will have an opportunity, an amazing opportunity to use my skills uh, in your favor. And I will do even more technical analysis uh, on uh, your request. So, I think it is quite fair deal. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on. I have to admit that if you take a look on natural gas futures, uh, it is very difficult to assume that we have completed five-way structure in this uh, basically more sideways movement than the quite uh, significant uh, movement to the up uh, or to the downside. That is why the only way, uh, the only conclusion that uh, we might have for now is the range of support at around number of $2 mark. By the way, guys, let's take a look on the general sentiment of the natural gas uh, market and natural gas prices. We are on tradingeconomics.com and uh, let me go to the latest update. US natural gas futures fell to $2 uh, per mm BTU, the lowest since April uh, 2023, amid the gradual increase in production after gas uh, wells resumed operations uh, following the severe cold in mid-January. Furthermore, the forecasted demand for this week seems lower than previously expected. Meteorological predictions indicate that temperatures will remain above average until February 13, returning to normal levels from February 15 to February 21. Simultaneously, gas supply to the country's LNG export facilities remains restricted due to technical difficulties at Freeport LNG's Texas export plant. U.S. LNG feed gas is unlikely to return to record levels until mid-February, when the Freeport is expected uh, to regain full power. So, I have to say that we have a deadline, uh, basically we have one week uh, uh, for this bearish pressure, but at the same time uh, we have a completely opposite pressure from the gas suppliers. That is why we are, in, we are still in quite uncertainty times, and that is why we have to be cautious with any of our position. So let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. 
So guys, you know that uh, natural gas prices uh, uh, follow the price of uh, crude oil. And if you take a look on the price uh, of uh, brand crude oil, here you can see that uh, it has a decent bounce to the upside from the price of about $76.9 all the way up uh, to $78.72 for about 2.37%. But at the same time, none of uh, the uh, prices uh, for natural gas of natural gas tickers, none of them has the similar price action. That is why for now we have a discrepancy in between these assets. And that is why, guys, we have to be still very cautious. But if my assumption is correct and we are nearing the uh, to the end of uh, the five wave structure on a bigger scale, basically from uh, almost uh, the beginning of this year, we have to see the bounce to the upside that uh, potentially might lead to quite lucrative uh, profits. And what should we expect next? I have to admit that uh, uh, if you take a look on ticker symbol BOIL, we still have, as I already mentioned, we still have uh, this uh, range of support. And uh, definitely this uh, line should hold. Uh, and uh, despite its uh, sloping nature, we still have uh, possibilities to hit it several times uh, and to have lower prices. But eventually it will be quite significant movement to the upside. And guys, for now, we have to find out uh, the structure of uh, this latest leg from this swing high to the lowest one, to the lowest point. And again, it is very difficult to make any breakdown. That is why, guys, uh, if you want to be on a safer territory, wait for the confirmation, uh, for the confirmation of breakout. And the confirmation of for the breakout will be uh, uh, a significant movement to the upside if uh, you expect uh, the breakout in this direction. And uh, it will be confirmed by the volume. And then on the retracement, you will be able to enter your position with the stop loss uh, slightly below previous bottom. And that is how you can catch uh, its potential trade. And uh, if you take a look on natural gas spot prices, we are basically at the same at the same uh, territory. We have uh, uh, we potentially might complete this movement to the downside somewhere in the ranges of about two dollars mark. And the closer we get to this range, the more likely that we might have a bounce, huge bounce to the upset that again might lead uh, to quite lucrative profit. But everything will depend uh, on the breakout and everything will depend on the structure with the confirmation of volume. So far on uh, natural gas spot prices, as you can see, we have a diminishing volume and that is why all of these movements without uh, the confirmation of volume is nothing else but a consolidation phase and uh, is nothing else but the ending fifth wave. It is not a diagonal, but it is quite difficult to assume when we might land. That is why, guys, for now, I don't have any suggestions uh, of uh, the potential position. That is why I just wait for my next video. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm